Katie Uncovered is really a selfish project that I guess I decided to share with everyone else. I really wanted to know more about Haitian food. I mean, I, I'm Haitian, I was born in Haiti. It's the foundation of how I cook. But at the same time, there was a lot more I wanted to know. I realized other people wanted to know too. And in a sense, it became a community initiative. It became something bigger than myself. Haitian cuisine is like Italian cooking with spice, with passion. What resonates the most for me about food is that it's the common denominator. I mean, it brings people together from all walks of life. My favorite recipe in Haiti Uncovered is absolutely, um, hands down, soup jumu. Um, because not only has Nadej added her own flavorful twist to it, but soup jumu actually has a very deep meaning for us um, for Independence Day. I've tried all different cuisines, but I think one of my favorite is the recipe in Haiti Uncovered for uh, red beans and rice, dore kale, um, and it is amazing. I had a lot of favorite recipes, but if I had to pick one, I would say blé. They take bulgur wheat, mix it with lima beans, and lots of fresh flavors like fresh parsley. Haitian food is probably one of the healthiest cuisines because everything is fresh. Most of the things are grown. It's a real labor of love, and I think people are really going to get to experience that. Some of my best memories from this journey, and it was indeed a journey, were really not food-based. They really were about the people I encountered along the way whether it was traveling through Hensh, whether it was visiting Cap Haitien, going through Go Naive, it was the people, households that I stayed at, watching the dynamics of how people interacted with each other, how giving everyone is. When I read Haiti Uncovered, um, I picture the streets of Port-au-Prince, I hear the cars, I hear the people, I hear the music playing, I see the colors. My family's from Nigeria, so uh, my favorite dish is fufu, and there's a similar dish there, tom tom. They call it something different, but it's basically the same thing. So it shows that connection between like the Haitian culture and the Nigerian culture, and that like we're all one people, really. I really wanted to include the lalo, which is from the Latibonite region, pula noir, which is uh, chicken and cashews, which is from the north, dukunu, things that certain Haitians have never heard about. I know I never heard about some of them. The recipes are simple, they're easy to make, and it's something you can experience on a night with your friends. Haiti Uncovered will help expose Haiti in a light that it hasn't been exposed in before. I can't imagine not doing this. I think this is very timely. I didn't want to just write a recipe book. I wanted people to get a sense of Haiti through a food-inspired lens, I guess. Nadej took her own personal travel journal and combined it with the recipes that she discovered and experienced in the local culture. The book will be released on November 18th, but prior to that, the book will be available at a significant discount if you pre-order it as of August 18th. So share it on your Twitter page, your Facebook page, your Instagram page, whether you're Haitian, non-Haitian, you just love food, or you just want to experience Haiti. This is the book to do it. So starting August 18th, let's get the book.